Hi everyone, and welcome to Omron's Quick Tips video. This video shows how to send an IOLink message to read an IOLink device over the GX ILM 08C, which is Omron's IP67 rated IOLink master. Today I'll be connecting the NJ1011020 Omron master over Ethercat to the Omron IOLink IP67 GX ILM08C. I'll be using the Omron photo sensor E3Z. I've already imported and programmed my IP67 GX IOLink master. From here, the first thing I'm going to do is go to my IO map and create my IO variables, which I've already done. Now we can start creating our message. Omron has created specific IOLink function blocks to help send and receive messages. You can search them by typing IOL in the toolbox. The first message I'm going to create is a read object message. In order to read the object, I need to know what type of object I'll be reading. I can look at my index list for each IOLink device to find the index and sub-index of what I would like to read. Today I'm going to read the product text, which is index 20 with no sub-index. It's a string that will be 64 bytes. So now that we know our basic info, we can start setting up our message. Every Omron function block needs an instance name. Mine will be called read instance. I then need to fill out my input variables. A few of the variables in this function block need device types. In order to find the appropriate device type, I need to look up the function block. To look up details on the function block, I can select F1 and then each of my device types comes up. I now know that the device port needs to be an S device port type. The device object needs to be an S IOL object access type. And the retry config needs to be an S IOL retry config. So I can go and create those. I'm writing a string, my read data will be a string type. I've already created these variables, which is why they are autofilling. I need to initialize these variables. This can be done in a few different ways. I can click on variables and click on the variables that I just created. Then select the initial value and click the gray box. I can then go here and select the different types that I need. Instead of doing this though, I think it's a little clearer if we present it in structured text. So I'm going to add an inline structured text to my program and write the values for all these variables that we need to read an IOLink device. The first one we need is the device type, which is under my device port. put 
a period, and all of the variables under device port come up. I need to select device type. And in this instance, since I'm using the GX IO Link Master, my device type is going to be an EtherCAT slave. second variable that I need to define is my known address for the ethercat slave, which is under ethercat slave, node address. In this example, my node address is 2. third parameter I need to define is my port number. In this case, I have my photo sensor plugged into port 1. I also need to find my index and my sub-index. Which are under device object. In order to find what's required, remember you can always go back to your function block instructions by pressing the F1 key. There's also an example of how to do messaging in this sheet. It goes through. Now that I have all those defined, I need to move this. Structured text cannot be connected to anything but the end wrong, so this contact needs to move as well. I can now compile my program. And then go online. Synchronize with my controller. and then test my read function. In order to view the data that I've received, I can go to View, Watch Window, and then type the variable I would like to look at. So in this instance, my information is in Read Data, which is under Program 0, Read Data. all the data I've received. Thank you very much for watching my IO Link messaging quick tips video. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below.